up in the fear of God and listen to the Holy Gospel, a chapter from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, the evangelist, apostle, and pure disciple. May his blessings be with us all. Amen. From the Psalms of our teacher, David the prophet and king, May his blessings be with us all. Amen. O oh, satisfy us early with your mercy, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. comes in the name of the Lord. O Lord, God, Savior, and the King of us all, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, glory be <coughs> to you. I say to you, among those born of women, there is not reason one greater than John the Baptist, but he who is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violent take it by force. For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John, and if you are willing to receive it, he is Elijah who is to come. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. Glory be to God for In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Uh, today's gospel from the Gospel of St. Matthew, um, chapter 11, and the Lord was talking about um, St. John the Baptist. And of course, um, he, he said, As surely I say to you, among those born of women, there has not risen one greater than John the Baptist. But he who is the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. Of course, this is um, a great testimony um, from our Lord Jesus Christ, who is St. John the Baptist, that no one is greater um, from uh, those born among women um, than him. And of course, most of the prophets in, in the Old Testament didn't see our Lord Jesus Christ uh, but in the flesh. Um, some of them, they have seen them, the creation of the second hypostasis, but um, all of them, they didn't see um, our Lord Jesus Christ in the flesh. That's why it was a great desire for all the prophets to see him, except St. John the Baptist. He was the only one um, between the Old Testament um, coming into the New Testament has seen our Lord Jesus Christ. And um, the Lord himself, he had uh, the testimony that he is greater than anyone else. And of course, he was greater than anyone else because of three important things. Number one, for his great humility, he was so humble. For his 
um, um, courage. He was so brave. And also um, for his um, life of righteousness, and because of that, of course, um, he witnessed for the truth. But the Lord said, but he who is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than him. Of course, in the kingdom of heaven, there are other um, uh, heavenly hosts, like the angels, for example. But also, for us as well, he is the least in the kingdom of heaven, is greater than him. Maybe he's referring to us, as um, the Gospel of St. John says, but um, as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God to those who believe in his name, who were born not of the blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. So he was talking about us, that to all of us we are born of God, because we have received the Holy Spirit and we have become children of God. And all of us will be greater in heaven, of course. And for this reason, we have carried the spirit of resurrection in our life. And also, we have to acquire the three important virtues like St. John the Baptist. Humility, great humility, and also um, and the courage to say the truth, and also the life of righteousness um, as well, and the life of holiness. And he said, um, uh, from the days of the... John the Baptist, until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violent take it by force. He was referring to the spiritual struggle that we should do to be able to have, you know, the kingdom of God. So the kingdom of God is something so precious, so valuable, and we have to struggle hard to, to um, attain this kingdom of God. And that's why it says um, the kingdom of um, heaven suffers violence, and the violent take it by force. And then he said, for all the prophets and the law prophesies until John. And this is what we mentioned. Many prophets prophesize about our Lord Jesus Christ. And then if you were willing to receive it, he is Elijah who is to come. He is Elijah who is to come. What is the um, story about Elijah? And what is the, um, um, the story between St. John the Baptist and, and Elijah? All of us, we know that um, St. John the Baptist, he came with the spirit of Elijah in terms of he was so powerful in calling people to repentance. Elijah, the same thing. He was fiery prophet. Okay? When he spoke, he had the effect on people and the influence in people. St. John the Baptist is the same. But there was a confusion about um, um, St. John the Baptist, he is Elijah or not. Where this confusion came? In the book of Malachi, chapter 3, verse 1, it says, Behold, I sent my messenger, and he prepared the way before me. And the Lord whom you seek will suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant in whom you delight. Behold, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. So he is talking here about the messenger, and the coming before me. And me here is capital M, means our Lord Jesus Christ. And also in, in chapter 4, verse 5, um, he says, Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. Here we have two messengers, um, one before the coming, for the first coming, and one for the, before the second coming. So the one before the first coming, which before the incarnation of the Lord, well, he was talking about St. John the Baptist. And then the one, like before the second coming, at the end of the days, this is, behold, I will send you, Elijah, the prophet, before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. So people, they were confused about that, and they were not aware about what's happening here, even if there was a prophecy about it. So St. John the Baptist, actually, he was a messenger to prepare the way before the Lord. And that's why he prepared the hearts of people to accept Christ. He made them to wash themselves and to be ready to receive the word of God within their hearts. And he called everyone for repentance. And he was fiery as well. And he had such a great influence on people because they, he gained the respect of many people, even Herod himself. 
And then when he was so courageous to say the truth and he said, you are not lawful to have your brother's uh, wife. So he even, he was so brave to speak to um, a Herod like that or a king like that or an emperor like that. And at the same time, Elijah had the same thing. So we expect Elijah to come. And that's why the Lord has mentioned, if you are willing to receive, he is Elijah who is to come. And then he said, he who has ears to hear, let him hear. And the Lord here is talking about the eternal um, ears of the heart. So sometimes we hear by our own um, um, ears and it does not register, it does not go inside our hearts. But he was talking about the internal ear that we can receive the word of God and change. So now those people, they would like to practice the resurrection. They need to have the spirit of, of St. John the Baptist or the spirit of Elijah. Why? Because the, the resurrection gives them power, gives them um, courage, but also gives them humility. As you are aware, the Lord, even when he rose, he rose in great glory, but with great humility as well. So let us acquire the three important virtues in our lives. To acquire humility, and to have that courage, and to live that life of righteousness and holiness, like St. John the Baptist, and like Elijah, and also will be able to prepare the hearts for everyone to receive Christ as a victorious Lord. Glory be to God forever and ever. Amen. As we rose, dress my name as Let us in temptation, Mother of us, in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord, for thine, the kingdom, the power, the glory for thee. The Father has broken if upon our sins through his saving love giving sufferings who praise in the face for sin to the Sabbath appear apostle said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, forgive the sins if any they are forgiven, if you retain the sins if any they are retained. Now also must we have given grace through your holy apostle to those for a time. They and the priest and the Holy Church who forgive sin upon the earth and to bind and lose upon anybody. Now also ask and treat you, goodness and love of my God, for your servants, my fathers, my brethren, my weakness, those who bow their heads before your holy glory and dismiss us your mercy. And lose upon the foul sins if you have committed any sin against you knowingly or unknowingly through anguish of heart, whether indeed or where in the hardness. O Master, he knows the weakness of men as a good one and love of my God. O God, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. Bless us, purify us, absolve us, O you people, fill us with your fear. Strengthen us for your good will for our God, the glory, honor, dominion. Worship our God, the good Father, Holy Spirit, and give our long lessons from now and to the Amen. 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 Christos <laughs> 
Κύριε ευλογήσον αμήν στο αερός μου, αερός τη μάτανια κονία βον καμπιές μου. Χριστός πινότη, ο Ιησούς Χριστός, ο Λόγος και ο Κύριος Γραντάς, η οποία σε στέβλησε ο Ιησούς και φορκεύει ας ουσίνς, και 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 ας ουσίν Um, now we are going to pray the midnight prayer together from Agpia. We're going to use the Coptic Creator because it comes um, uh, very well in the screen. We say from the introduction of the midnight prayer straight away. We say it together. I rise, O you children of light, to praise the Lord of hosts, that he may grant us the salvation of our souls when we stand in the flesh before you. Take away from our minds the sleep of forgetfulness. Grant us a lens, O Lord, in order that he, you may understand how to stand up before you at the time of prayer and send up to you the appropriate doxology and win the forgiveness of our many sins. Glory be to you, o lover of mankind. Behold, the place the Lord, O you servants of the Lord, who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God, in the nights. Lift up your hands, O you saints, and bless the Lord. The Lord shall bless you out of Zion, he who made heaven and earth. Glory be to you, o lover of of mankind, and let my supplication come near before you, O Lord, give me understanding according to your word. Let my petition come before you, revive me according to your word. Let my lips flow with praise when you have taught me your ordinance. Let my tongue speak of your words, for all your commandments are righteous. Are righteous. Let your hand be for saving me. For I have desired your commandments. I have longed for your salvation, O Lord, and your law is my meditation. My soul shall live and praise you, and your judgments shall help me. I have gone astray like a lost sheep. Seek your servant, for I have not forgotten your commandments. Glory be to you, O the good one and lover of mankind. Hail to your mother, virgin, and all the saints. Glory be to you, O holy Trinity, and mercy upon us. Let God arise, and all let his enemies be scattered. Let all who hate his holy name flee before his face. But let your people be in blessings, thousands of thousands, and ten thousand times ten thousands. Doing your will, O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia. Oh, yeah. We're going to say part number 10 in the long song. Your hands have made me and fashioned me and instructed me that I will learn your commandments. They will, and who fear you shall see me and rejoice, for I have hoped in your words. I know, O Lord, that your judgments are righteousness and that you truly have humbled me. Let your mercy come upon me to comfort me according to your word to your servant. Let your compassion come to me that I shall live for your law is my meditation. Let the proud be ashamed, for they transgressed against me unjustly. But I shall be continually in your commandments. Let those who fear you, those who know your wonders, turn to me. Let my heart be blameless in your ordinance, that I may not be ashamed. Glory be to you, O lover of mankind. Doxasius, a chapter from the Holy Gospel, according to St. Matthew, in his visible salami. 
Then the kingdom of heaven shall be like unto ten virgins who took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise and five were foolish. Those who were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom was delayed, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom is coming. Arise and go out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise answered, saying, No, lest I shall not be enough for us and you. But go rather to those who sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came. And those who already went in with him to the wedding, and the door was shut. Afterwards, the other virgins also came out, crying and saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I do not know you. Watch therefore, for you neither know the day or the hour in which the Son of Man is coming. Glory be to God forever. Amen. <laughs> And behold, the bridegroom is coming at midnight. Blessed is the servants whom he finds watching, but you whom he finds sleeping is unworthy of going with him. Therefore take heed, O my soul, that you may not um, fall into the sleep, and then be cast out of the kingdom, but watch and cry out, saying, Holy, holy are you, O God, for the sake of the Theodos, have mercy on us. O oh, my soul, be mindful of that awesome day, and wake up and light your lamp with the oil of joy. For you do not know when the voice will call upon you, saying, Behold, the bridegroom is coming, so I take heed, my soul, not to fall asleep, lest you stand outside, looking like the five foolish virgins. But watch enter eating, that you may meet Christ the Lord with rejoice, and he may grant you the winning of his true and heavenly glory. I in case to see on a stone, you are the rampart of our salvation, O Theodox division, the mighty and impregnable fortress, abolish the counsel of the adverses, and transform the sorrow of your servants into joy, fortify our nation and defend our governance and intercede for the peace of the Lord, for you are our hope, O Theodokos. A heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who is present in all places and fills all the treasure of good things, and the life giver, graciously come and dwell in us and purify from all defilement, O good one, and save our souls. And just as you were with your disciples, O Savior, and gave them peace, Graciously come also and be with us and grant us your peace and save us and deliver our souls. Whenever we stand in your holy sanctuary, we are considered standing in heaven. Earth and also, of course, you are the gates of heaven. Open for us the gates of mercy. Holy, holy, holy Lord of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of your glory and honor. Have mercy on us, O God the Father Almighty. O Holy Church, have mercy on us, O God, Lord God of hosts, be with us. If you have no helper in our hardships and tribulations, but you absolve, forgive, and remit, O our God, our transgressions, those who I have committed not willingly, and those which we have committed unknowingly, those we have committed unknowingly, and those we have committed unknowingly. The hidden and manifest, O Lord, forgive us for the sake of your holy name, women which is called upon us, and let it be according to your mercy, O Lord, not according to our sins. O Lord, make us worthy to be thankful, our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. 
the Obel and the NSS Hidden. Give us day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as forgive those who trespass against us, lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, for thine, the kingdom, the power, the glory. Show us in the name, show us in the name, the servant of the second watch of that blessed midnight hour. We offer to Christ our King and our God, beseech him to forgive us our sins from the sons of the David, the prophet King, his possible son, Amin. We say Psalm 120. I'll lift up my eyes to the mountains from where my help shall come. My help shall come from the Lord who made the heaven and earth. He will not let your food be moved, and your keeper will not slumber. Behold, who he keeps Israel shall not slumber nor sleep. The Lord shall keep you, and the Lord shall cast a shelter upon your hand. The sun shall not burn your day, neither the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from every evil. The Lord shall keep your soul. The Lord shall keep your coming in and your going out from this time and forever. Alleluia. Doxa, a chapter from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Then one of the Pharisees asked him, Teacher, to eat with him and he went unto the pharisee's house and sat down to eat and behold a woman in the city who was a sinner when she knew that jesus sat to eat in the pharisee's house brought an alabaster box of ointment and stood at his feet behind him weeping and began to wash his feet with tears and wiped them with the hairs of her head and kissed his feet and anointed them with the ointment now when the pharisee who had invited him saw this he spoke with himself, saying, This man, if he were a prophet, would have known who and what manner of woman this is, this is who, who touched him, for she is a sinner. And Jesus answered and said to him, Simon, I have something to say to you. And he said, Master, say it. There was a certain creditor who had two debtors. One owed him five denarii and the other fifty. And when they had nothing to pay, he freely forgave them both. Tell me, therefore, which of them will love him more? Simon answered and said, I suppose that, that he to whom he forgave more. And he said unto him, You have rightly judged. And he turned to the woman and said unto Simon, Do you see this woman? I entered, I entered into your house. You gave me no water for my feet, but she has washed my feet with tears and wiped them with the hairs of her head. You gave me no kiss, but this woman, since the time I came in, has not ceased to kiss my feet. My head with oil you did not anoint, but this woman has anointed my feet with ointment. Therefore I say unto you, her sins which are many are forgiven, for she loved much. But to whom little is forgiven, the same loves little. And he said unto her, your sins are forgiven. And those who sat, sat to eat with him began to say within themselves, who is this who forgives sins also? And he said to the woman, Your faith has saved you. Go in peace. Glory be to God. Give me, O Lord, many fountains of tears as you give in the past the sinful woman. Make me worthy to wash your feet, which you liberated me from the path of a string, and to offer you a precious fragrant oil, and gain through repentance of your life, so that I may hear that voice full of joy. Your faith has saved you. When I realize my many wicked deeds and the thoughts of that awesome judgment, comes to my heart, I tremble, takes hold of me, and I take refuge in you. O God, the lover of mankind, so do not turn away your face from me. I entreat you, who alone are without sin, grant me humbleness to my pure soul before the end comes and save me. <laughs> The heavens bless you, full of grace, the bride who is never married, and we too glorify your incomprehensible, giving birth to Theotokos, the mother of mercy and salvation, intercede for the salvation of our souls. <laughs> Amen. 
I have linking the confidence of the spirit of truth, who is present in all places and feels, Lord, the treasure of good things and the life given. Graciously come and dwell in us and pure us from all defilements, a good one, and save our souls. Just as you with your disciples are saved and gave them peace, graciously come also and be with us and grant us your peace and save us and deliver our souls. <laughs> Whenever we stand in your holy sanctuary, we consider standing in heaven. O Theodor, of course, you are the gates of heaven. Open for us the gates of mercy. We ask you to us in the midst of us, forgive us our sins. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. 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 Kyrie eleison, Holy, holy, holy Lord of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of your glory and honor. Have mercy on us, O God the Father, the Almighty, Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord God, the force be with us, we have no helper in our hardships and tribulations, but you absolve, forgive, and remit, O God, our transgressions, those which we have committed willingly and those which we have committed unwillingly those we have, which have committed knowingly, and those which have committed unknowingly, the hidden and manifest, O Lord, forgive us, forgive us for the sake of your holy name, which is called upon us. Let it be according to your mercy, O Lord, not according to our sins. O Lord, make us worthy, be thankfully, our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. O oh, Buddha, may us Give us day, our day, our breath, forgive us. The service of the third watch of the blessed midnight hour we offer to Christ our King, our God, beseech him to forgive us our sins from the Psalms for the Church David, the prophet King, his visible Salamin. We say Psalm 130. O Lord, my heart was not exalted, neither have my eyes been hotly raised, neither have I walked in great matters, nor in wonders greater than me. For I have not humbled myself, but raised my soul as a wean and child with his mother, so that the recompense upon my soul. Let Israel um, hope in the Lord from now and forever. Alleluia. Alleluia. The chapter from the Holy Ghost, but I want to send with me. His blessing was Shalameen. Do not fear, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell what you have and give alms. Provide yourselves money bags, which do not grow old, a treasure in the heavens that does not fail, where no thief approaches nor moth corrupts. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Let your loins be girded and your lamps burning, and you yourselves be like men who wait for their master, when he will return from the wedding, that when he comes and knocks, that they may open to him immediately. Blessed are those servants whom their master, when he comes, will find them watching. Assuredly, I say to you that he shall gird himself and have them sit down to eat and will come and serve them. And if he shall come in the second watch or come in the third watch and finds them so, blessed are those servants. But know this, that if the master of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and would, and would come and he would have watched and not have allowed his house to be broken into. You therefore be ready also, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour when you do not think. Then Peter said to him, Lord, do you speak this parable only to us or to all people? And the Lord said, Who then is the fa that faithful and wise steward, whom his master will make the ruler over his ha household, to give them their portion of food in due season? Blessed is that servant whom his master, when he comes, will find doing. Truly I say to you that he will make him ruler over all he has. But if that servant says in his heart, my master is delaying his coming, and begins to beat the maidservants and maidens, and to eat and drink and be drunk, and the masters of that servant will come in a day when he is not looking for him, and an hour when he is not aware, and will cu cut him in two and appoint him his portion with the unbelievers. 
Glory be to God forever. And with a compassionate eye, O Lord, look at my weakness, for shortly my life will end, and in my days I shall have no salvation. Therefore I beseech you, O Lord, with a merciful eye, look at my weakness, my humility, my poverty, my sojourn, and save me. As the judge is present, take heed, O my soul, that we can consider that awesome hour. For in the day of judgment there will be no mercy on those who were not merciful. Therefore have compassion on me, O Savior, for alone are the lover of mankind. O the reasonable gate of life, the honor theodox deliver from hardship those who in faith take refuge in you so that one might glorify your immaculate birth of Christ for the salvation of our souls. Heavenly King, the comfort of the Spirit of Truth, who is present in all places and fills all. The treasury of good things and the life giver, graciously come and dwell in us. Purify us from all defilements, O good one, and save our souls. <laughs> Just as you were with your disciples, O Saviour, and gave them peace, graciously come also and be with us, and grant us your <coughs> peace, and save us, and deliver our souls. <laughs> Whenever we stand in your holy sanctuary, we can see it standing in heaven, earth, also close to all the gates of heaven, at the front, the gates of mercy. Lord, now you're letting your servants depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you prepared before the face of all peoples. I like to bring revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of the people of Israel. Glory be to God forever. Amen. We ask you to us and amen. Some of forgive us our sins. Kiri lay son, kiri lay son, kiri lay son. Kiri lay son, kiri lay son, kiri lay son. Kiri lay son, kiri lay son, kiri lay son. Kiri lay son, kiri lay son, kiri lay son. Kiri lay son, kiri lay son, kiri lay son. Kiri lay son, kiri lay son, kiri lay son. Kiri lay son, kiri lay son, kiri lay son. Holy, holy, holy Lord of Sabbath, heaven and earth are full of your glory and honor. Have mercy on us, O God, the Father Almighty. O Holy Change, have mercy on us, O Lord God of hosts. Be with us, and the hell will in our hardships and tribulations, but you. Absolve, forgive, remit, O God, our transgressions, those which have committed willingly and those which have committed unknowingly, those which have committed knowingly and those which have committed unknowingly, the hidden visit and manifest, O Lord. Forgive us for the sake of your holy name, which is called upon us. Let it be according to your mercy, O Lord, not according to our sins, O Lord. Lord, make us with be thankful, our Father, who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, the hope of on earth as it is heaven. Give us this day our dear bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us in temptation, but deliver us from evil through Jesus Christ. Lord. We say the absolution together. O my Lord and Master Jesus Christ, the living and eternal Son of God, enlighten our minds to understand your love giving words. Raise us from the darkness of sin which ruins the soul. Make us worthy to become upright in good deeds at the time of you coming to judge the world. Make us worthy of the hearing the, that voice full of joy, saying, Come to me, you are blessed of my Father. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you before the foundation of the world. Yes, Lord, grant us in the hour to be without fear and anxiety condemnation. and do not judge us according to our many iniquities. We are alone, are compassionate, long-suffering, extremely merciful. We ask in, in this through the intercession of Our Lady Theodorus and St. Mary, and the intercession of all the choir of your sins. Amen. We say the conclusion of every hour. Have mercy on us, O God, have mercy on us, who at all times and every hour in heaven and earth is worshipped and glorified. Christ, our God, the good and long-suffering, 
the abundant in mercy, the great in compassion, who loves the righteous and have mercy on sinners, of whom I am chief, who does not wish the death of the sinner, but rather that he, he may he cause um, all to salvation for the promise of the good things to come. Lord, receive us our praise in this hour, and every hour is our life. Guide us to fulfill your commandment, sanctify our spirits, cleanse our bodies, conduct our thoughts, purify our intentions, heal our diseases, forgive our sins and deliver us from evil, evil grief and distress of the heart. Surround us by your holy angels, that by their camp we may be guarded and guided and attain the unity of faith and the knowledge of your imperishable and infinite glory we are blessed forever. Amen. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for allowing us to stand before you. Thank you, Lord, that you have opened for us we are little children and you are the house and your house or the doors of your house. We ask you, Lord, to open the doors of your house for before every one of us so we can come and enjoy your presence and receive the, your word to touch our hearts and to inflame our hearts and our minds by your life-giving words. We ask you, Lord, to bless this church, to bless the fathers of this church, to bless the servants and everyone through the intercession of St. Mary, Archangel Michael, St. Mark, St. George, St. Abbas, Fins, St. Abinib, St. Dimena, Bob Kroll is the first, Bob Kroll is the sixth, Abu Nafshri Kamen and Abu Nafshri Ibrahim. Hear us when we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, we will be done in earth at seven. Give us stay out there, bread, forgive us our trespasses, and forgive those trespassing against us. Lead us in temptation, but deliver us from evil. And now we are going to start the midnight prayer, uh, praise, and uh, we finish the midnight prayer. And um, it's a lovely time. Uh, we can uh, use the... Um, can we use the Coptic Reader um, translation? Because um, in the screen, it doesn't look... Uh, clear to them to the people. Try it. If you if you have some words, you can use your own words um, uh, from the old uh, translation. Uh, okay, try it. All right. Thank you. <laughs> 